Boeing has just rocked the aviation world when revealed a superior new design upgrade for the 737 MAX. This bold move promises to tackle persistent issues and breathe new life into the 737 MAX series. So how exactly this new 737 MAX design upgraded? Why is it such a buzz and will this change the aviation industry? Let's find out in today's episode. Stephanie Pope, who recently took on the role of leading Boeing's commercial airplane division, has provided detailed insights into the improvements made in the production process of the 737 aircraft. These improvements have notably accelerated the production rate of this model, which is pivotal for Boeing. She highlighted that addressing the underlying issues fully is expected to take several years, reflecting the complexity and scale of the challenges faced. According to her, this is not a minor change, but a significant transformation. The 737 is the most important passenger aircraft of Boeing, so these enhancements are particularly vital for the company's operations and reputation. Consequently, Boeing has been diligently working to increase production capacity and address the persistent problem of reduced output. This effort has been an ongoing priority for a significant period, emphasizing the company's commitment to resolving these issues. In January this year, the FAA implemented an unprecedented measure by prohibiting Boeing from increasing the monthly production rate of the 737 MAX to 38 aircraft until the agency could confirm effective improvements in the quality of the manufacturer's aircraft. Following the January crisis associated with this aircraft incident, Boeing has dedicated substantial effort to listening to feedback and devising a comprehensive recovery plan. This strategy, which has been publicly outlined, encompasses a range of measures aimed at improving safety and quality, stabilizing manufacturing operations, and instituting cultural changes within the organization. In addition to these steps, Boeing has placed a strong emphasis on learning from past mistakes, actively engaging with customers, and reinforcing its commitment to addressing the current challenges. This proactive approach underscores Boeing's determination to restore confidence and ensure the long-term success of its commercial airplane division. In addition, she mentioned that the company has unified on a design to solve the engine anti-icing system issue, which has significantly delayed the certification of the 737 MAX 7 aircraft. The completion of this fix might not be finished until next year, although an exact timeline has not been determined. If not addressed, these issues could cause overheating and potentially engine failure. In a meeting with reporters, Stephanie Pope stated that Boeing is making technical progress. Regarding the timing for conducting test flights and completing the repairs, Pope did not provide an official estimate, but suggested it might occur around that time. Earlier this year, Senator Tammy Duckworth urged Boeing to abandon the exemption request, stating that this request risks causing the engine casing to break apart and fall off. This could create debris that could penetrate the fuselage, endangering passengers seated by the window behind the aircraft wing. The reason for this is that after the mid-air explosion of a cabin panel on a new Alaska Airline MAX 9, Boeing is under scrutiny. Due to this issue, the company had to withdraw its request for a safety standard exemption for the MAX 7, which it had submitted to the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA for short, last year. As a result, the certification has been pushed back to 2025, or potentially much later. The ability to quickly resolve these issues will greatly facilitate the certification of the 737 MAX 7 and help improve Boeing's increasingly declining reputation. However, the FAA has stated that it will thoroughly review any design submitted by Boeing and has repeatedly refused to provide any timeline for approval. Even though Boeing claims there have been no recorded safety incidents involving the MAX 8 and MAX 9 in operation due to engine intake overheating. To prevent potential overheating issues, on June 20, 23, Boeing provided airlines with guidelines on how to use the MAX engine anti-icing system. The FAA implemented these procedures on August 20, 23, requiring airlines to turn off the anti-icing system when it's not necessary. Southwest Airlines, the largest customer of the MAX 7, expressed disappointment, noting that they no longer expect to receive any this Boeing aircraft orders this year. Given this situation, the certification of the more popular MAX 10 will also be delayed as Boeing needs to secure approval for the MAX 7 first. 
Thank you for sticking with us until this part of the episode. The 737 truly is an aircraft that garners a lot of attention, and the issues surrounding it are always taken care of. Your support helps our video reach others who are interested in the world of aviation, so please like, share the video, and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Thank you so much. Despite the situation, Boeing's commercial jet orders continued to rise through March, primarily for the 737 MAX 10. American Airlines has ordered 85 MAX 10, the largest version of the controversial aircraft. Additionally, the airline's previous order for 30 MAX 8 now in service has been converted into additional MAX 10 orders. Sources indicate that the airline also plans to purchase 75 more of this variant aircraft in the future. These substantial orders have been included in Boeing's sales and delivery report for March. Alongside the MAX orders from American Airlines, Boeing also secured orders for 28 wide-body 777 jets during the same period. This surge in orders underscores a significant vote of confidence from American Airlines in Boeing's ability to deliver on its commitments despite past difficulties. It seems American Airlines continues to place unwavering trust in this long-standing aircraft manufacturer. Additionally, Luxembourg's Luxair has recently expanded its 737 fleet with a new order for four. Boeing 737 MAX 10. Currently, Luxair operates two MAX 8, four 700 nanograms variants and four 800 nanograms variants from Boeing. Besides this new order, they also have four MAX 7, two additional MAX 10, four more MAX 8, and two Embraer E195 E2 awaiting delivery. It appears that both American Airlines and Luxair are demonstrating a strong and ongoing trust in Boeing's aircraft, with substantial investments in the latest models. What are your thoughts on American Airlines' strategic shift towards the larger MAX 10? How do you see these developments influencing the future of Boeing and its aircraft lineup? Beyond the substantial challenges Boeing has faced with the 737, its most pressing issue in recent times, there is also considerable discussion surrounding the potential departure of CEO Dave Calhoun. Calhoun has indicated his intention to step down by the end of the year, prompting the company to begin the search for a new leader. Besides, Larry Kellner, chair of Boeing's board of directors, will also leave the role. Chairman Larry Kellner has informed the board that he does not intend to run for re-election at the upcoming annual shareholders meeting. The board has elected Steve Mollenkopf to succeed Kellner as the independent chairman. In this role, Mollenkopf will lead the board's process to select Boeing's next CEO. As you may know, Stan Deal, Boeing Commercial Airplanes president and CEO, also retired from the company effective immediately before his situation was replaced by Stephanie Pope, the group's chief operating officer. This transition comes at a critical juncture for Boeing, as the company grapples with a protracted crisis involving safety concerns and a need to restore trust in its production processes. The board of directors is keenly aware of the importance of finding a successor who can effectively navigate these challenges and guide the company back to stability. The search for a new CEO is expected to be both meticulous and deliberate. Boeing's leadership understands that the new CEO will need to address ongoing safety issues rebuild confidence among stakeholders, and steer the company through its current turbulence. The careful selection process underscores the board's commitment to ensuring that the right person is chosen to lead Boeing into a more secure and successful future. Share your thoughts on these new updates in the comments below. Thank you for watching today's episode. See you next time.